Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a spigot server for Minecraft 1.9. So to begin with, you need to go to getspigot.org and that website should be linked down below in the description. So once you're on this website, you should see a button which says download spigot and then click on it and press spigot 1.9 and then save the spigot 1.9 file don't worry it does not contain any viruses so you can save it and then go to your downloads and you should see the spigot 1.9 file in your downloads so then you need a folder where you will have your spigot server located so make a new folder and call it whatever you want i'm going to call mine spigot server and then put the spigot 1.9 file which you've just downloaded into your spigot server folder and then go into your spigot server folder and you should see the spigot 1.9 file which you've just downloaded and put into this folder so rename the spigot 1.9 file to spigot so the name should be spigot rather than spigot 1.9 and now right click inside this folder and press new text document and call that text document run now double click on the run text document and it should open up with notepad so then copy the command which is in the description and paste it into here the command should look something like this and now if you want to allocate more ram to your server you can change the amount of ram which you allocate in this command so say you wanted to allocate three gigabytes of ram you replace both of the twos with threes so this would allocate three gigabytes of ram to your server or you can change it to 4 or 5 or 6 but don't change it to a number higher than 50% of the RAM which you have in your computer so I have 8 gigabytes of RAM but I should not change it to more than 4 gigabytes so I'm just gonna leave it at 3 and once you done with that go to file then press save and make sure the save as type is all files and make sure the folder which you're saving it in is your spigot server folder so I'm in it right now you can see and call the file run.bat so the file name should be run.bat then press save to save that file and you can close our notepad now now double click on the run bat file which you've just made and it should have an icon something like this and then this file should close pretty quickly and you should see that a few more files have been made so click on a file which says EULA double click on it and it should open up with notepad so on line 3 you should see it says EULA equals false so change that line to EULA equals true and then go to file and press save to save that and then you can close out of this notepad and then double click on the run file which you made earlier again and this should stop making your server now while this is making the server you should port forward your server and port forwarding is a thing which allows your friends to join through your IP so go to a website called portforward.com to find port forwarding guides and on the left you should see something which says port forwarding guides so click on that and then scroll down and find your router on here so mine is a BT so I'm gonna click on that but yours might be something else and close that advertisement now find your router version so mine is BT home hub 5 so I'm gonna click on home hub home hub 5 
and then scroll down and find Minecraft on this list, Minecraft server. And once you've found Minecraft server on this list, click on it. And this should be a guide on how you can port forward your Minecraft server using your router. So I'm going to follow the guide by going to my router and port forwarding it so my friends can join my Spigot server. And now I've just port forwarded my server. So once that is done, once you port forwarded it, then you can find out your IP by going to Google and typing in IP. And it should tell you your IP. And this is the IP which you give to your friends and yourself to connect to your server. But don't give it to strangers because they can do some pretty bad stuff with your IP. So I'll only give it to the friends which you trust and want to play with on your server. So copy your IP address and then go to Minecraft. So open up Minecraft. Make sure it's running 1.9 of course because you're making a 1.9 spigot server. And then go to multiplayer, add server, and in the server address, paste your IP in by pressing Ctrl V. And then you can see that this server is online because the server's online. So I'm going to join my server and you can see in the console that it will say I have joined. And now you can see that I'm in my server and Here's the map and whatnot, so I can op myself by in this console typing op space my username, which is total playable. And this has just opt myself, so now I can go into creative mode and do all sorts of stuff. So if you want to download Spigot plugins for your server to make it better, of course, then you can watch my video on how to do that, which should be annotated somewhere right now. And of course, once you're done with your server, in your server, type stop, and that should close your server and save the world. And now my server's offline because I've just made it go offline, and I can click on run again to bring it back up. So there you have it, that's how you make a spigot server for Minecraft 1.9. So if you found this video useful, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any problems, leave a comment down below and I sh should be able to help you. So thanks for watching and bye.